So if you're going to the movie theater uh, this week, you might notice that uh, there's a new movie playing called Birds of Prey. And the villain in that movie is Black Mask, played by Obi-Wan Kenobi, because of course he is. And you might be wondering, well, is uh, this villain from the comics or where they find him? And uh, yes, he is from the comics. And uh, his story is that um, he used to be rich, just like Bruce Wayne. Actually, they were friends, sort of. Uh, they were kind of forced to be friends because parents were socialites and crap like that. But, but the main difference between Black Mask and Batman is the fact that Black, Black Mask's uh, parents weren't skeletons. I mean, not yet. So, anyway, uh, the dude grew up, you know, his name is Roman Sionis or something like that. And uh, he went to work in his dad's company, which was a cosmetics for, you know, women's faces and all that. And um, you know, he started working there, and he fell in love with this uh, poor chick. But his parents were just like, we ain't having none of that, you're supposed to be rich. And uh, so they're just like, you gotta break it off. So, uh, Roman decided that, hmm... I don't like them doing that to me like that. So uh, he murdered his parents and burned down his house. So after that, uh, Roman proceeded to be given uh, control of his father's company because nobody decided to actually look into why his parents died, but you know, whatever. And uh, then he assumed control, but um, uh, he sucked <laughs> at running a business and um, he lost basically all of the monies. And in addition to that, he also created a cream for whammon, but um, it was bad and wasn't tested, and it caused women's faces to like become disfigured, which is uh, kind of a crappy thing to do. Uh, so then Bruce Wayne was just like, don't worry, bro, I'll bail, bail you out, but um, I'll put my own people in charge of the company. And uh, Roman didn't like that, so he got mad because he was broke, and he went to his parents' crib. Uh, while he was there, he was struck by lightning. I'm serious about this. So he got struck by lightning. He got thrown and hit his head on a stone. And uh, then he went insane. You know, who knew? Anyway, he got hit. You know, he banged up his head. And then uh, he took it as a sign that, hey, maybe I should go kill some people. Why not? Anyway, he broke into his father's crypt. And then he, like, smashed his coffin into, like, pieces. And then he took um, pieces from that coffin that he just smashed and created a black mask. Therefore, that's where his name comes from. So uh, then he decided to create his own uh, gang, which he did. And he started terrorizing people. And he even forced his old girlfriend, you know, the poor chick. And he disfigured her face too, because, you know, he's a dick. Uh, after that, uh, Batman was just like, oh, hells no, what is going on here? Why is all these dudes running around stealing and breaking things? So he was just like, hmm, Black Mask is Roman, I know it, and you know, he was right. So uh, Black Mask started killing off Wayne, like, employees, because, uh, I don't know, he was still mad about the whole board of directors thing. And then uh, Bruce Wayne was, like, his next on his list or something, so Batman set a trap, and then uh, he figured out where Black Mask was, so he was like, oh, I'm gonna go capture his ass. And uh, Black Mask managed to, managed to escape, but he ended up at his own uh, mansion, you know, which was still sort of livable. And he decided to burn it down completely because why the hell not? So then uh, Batman came up and hit him in the cankles. And then the Black Mask face fell face first into uh, some fire. And uh, therefore his mask got grafted onto his skin. So he can't take that black mask off or, you know, he'll uh, lose a face. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's his origin story. Um, and as you can probably tell, uh, it sucks. <laughs> He's one of the worst Batman villains ever. But uh, I don't know, that's just me. Uh, in the movies, uh, he's basically a gangster as well. But uh, his story isn't half as interesting as this one was. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, hope you stick around for more. And uh, good day, bye.